everybody, Don't Blink here again with another uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2 gameplay commentary for you guys. Uh, I'm playing on Arica Harbor in rush mode as an attacker. I'm playing as a medic class using the M60 light machine gun, M1911 45 pistol, uh, extended range and extended healing factor medkits, and the quick reload vehicle package. Now, something interesting about the vehicle packages in this game is that they are cumulative within a vehicle, which means um, if I'm a passenger and I'm using the quick reload package and the driver is using the enhanced armor protection package, both of those packages will be in effect when we're both in the same vehicle. Um, so what you should take from this is if you're running in an an actually organized squad with like some of your friends or clan members or what have you um, and you're all in the same vehicle you you should try and use different vehicle packages so that you don't have any redundancies um, because if you're all using the same vehicle package only one of them will be in effect uh, when you're in the same vehicle whereas if you're all using different vehicle packages they will all go into effect at the same time. Um, so, if you want to maximize your effectiveness in a vehicle, go with different vehicle packages. That's basically the moral of the story here. Um, this is my fourth YouTube video, so I feel like it's probably time that I introduce myself. My name is Chris. I'm 20 years old. I'm a U.S. college student, and I'm also a part-time private tutor. I tutor high school students in Latin, of all things. Yes, the dead language, I know. I'm a geek, I'm a nerd, whatever you want to call me, but um, it pays the bills, so I'm not going to complain. Um, after my last gameplay commentary, I spent some time on the official Bad Company 2 forums on the, uh, the European Electronic Arts website, <laughs> and... Um, I found some data sheets and some charts showing damages for all the different weapons, explosives, gadgets, and stuff um, in this game. And my suspicions from my last commentary were correct um, in that the M60 for the medic class is totally overpowered. Um, it does more damage at its worst than all but one of the assault class's weapons. Um, the M60 per bullet does 25 um, damage at close range and 20 at long range. Uh, whereas the best assault class weapon uh, in terms of damage per bullet is the AN94, which does 20 damage per bullet uh, at close range and like 14.3 damage per bullet at long range. I don't know why DICE made a medic weapon that's more str uh, more powerful than basically any other um, weapon in the game, or any other fully automatic weapon in the game, but they did and it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, you see right there, I threw down an ammo pack, and that's actually something I want to talk about. Uh, not enough people online are throwing down ammo packs. I don't know if you guys noticed earlier, but I was I was chasing around and one of my teammates who was in assault class, and the entire time I was pressing my spot button trying to get him to throw down ammo for me. And people just I don't know if Dice needs to make it more obvious or something in the HUD or or I don't know, but not enough people are throwing down ammo packs and health packs for their teammates. Um, your ammo packs and your health packs they they reload pretty frequently, pretty quickly, um, so there, there's no real reason why um, when a teammate asks for ammo, you shouldn't be throwing down ammo, except for ignorance, so uh, that's kind of why I'm, I'm saying this. Uh, if you don't know how to throw down ammo, just you have to switch to it in your inventory and then throw it down, and after about three seconds, it'll reload and you can throw another one down. Um, but please help your teammates out. It'll help you out too. You'll get experience. Um, I, I fail with the knife there. I don't know. I feel like that should have made contact, but it didn't. Um, 
that's another thing I want to talk about. Dice uh, on the official forums for this game. Um, there are lists of glitches, and as of right now, it doesn't seem like Dice is doing that much about them. Um, it looks like they're going to fix the big things, but there are a lot of glitches in this game, and a lot of the minor things look like they're never going to get fixed. Uh, there's a glitch in the PC version where if you're an assault class and you're using, uh, you're, you've attached a scope to your weapon, if you switch to your, your grenade launcher, your scope disappears. Um, and DICE has basically said that they're not going to do anything about that. Whiff! <laughs> totally miss with that knife. I'm, I'm going to miss another knife in about 15 seconds. Oh, whiff! <laughs> uh, and another thing that looks like it isn't going to get fixed is the knifing in this game. Um, the knifing in this game is kind of kind of broken. Um, in that, compared to Call of Duty's knifing mechanic, the knifing mechanic in this game is so laggy. There's so much latency um, between the time when you press the button to knife someone and when you actually knife that person. And um, I still don't have the range down or anything. And here, here is a nice spot for you engineers out there. Um, when you're at this last set of points, you can jump up on this rooftop and you can actually use your rocket launcher to hit that point right there on the second story. Um, so if you're having trouble taking that point, go ahead, get up on this rooftop uh, with like uh, the explosives package, increased explosives package, so you can have more rockets and go to town on that on that second story MCOM station because you can take it out from that building. Um, I get team killed right at the end there by a grenade, and that's the end of the game. Um, thanks for watching the game. I ended this game as the top player with 21 kills, 8 deaths, and uh, I think like 2080 experience. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe.